All right, welcome to another five hole vlog Friday. Out here trying out something new, like always. Something I got uh, this past weekend and used during the scramble. It helped me a lot, so I'm gonna introduce you to that. I'm gonna play the front four. I hardly ever play those. I'm always playing on the this nine hole course. It doesn't have a back nine, really. It has what we call a back five. So it's five holes five through nines. But I'm gonna play one through four and then I'm gonna, there's a, that's because of the quarter scramble, so I'm gonna skip around, probably have to skip around, and I'll play a fifth hole, and then we'll go from there. But I'm gonna show you what I've got in my, that I got new, and uh, talk about it. This first one, it's, I don't know, this place is all ragged and everything. Everybody make comments about it on, on TikTok and Facebook and YouTube about how bad this course looks in the greens and everything. I'm still playing it. It's still golf. Anyway. So let's hit it. All right, don't know where the pin is at because the uh, guy mowing. I think he took a break or something, but uh, I'm just gonna aim for the center of the green. All right, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> it's not the center. They weren't actually over the green. They used the pitching wedge. Maybe some wind up there pushed it. It's, it is really, really windy today. So, this may be interesting. All right, good to get it up and down there. Uh, wasn't great, but he worked. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I, I was lining my ball up for that. But if you saw something different on my putter, you'd be correct. I got a new grip put on, so I put it on myself actually. So this park is uh, got Christmas decorations up. If you, you know, wondering, um, they do a drive-through Christmas light thing. But anyway, uh, that wasn't a good drive. I'm gonna quit talking and get to my ball over here. All right, got about 90 yards to the pin, and this is a really horrible green. So I gotta play it just the pins right in front. Clump or something there. Ah, All right, so good up and down there. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of scary because that green is just awful. It was downhill putt. So wasn't too sure about it, but I got it in. So anyway, so it is a P2 putter grip. Um, I just bought this recently and put it on there probably um, Saturday, this past Saturday. So today is Friday, so <laughs> before the week started. Anyway, and then I used it on Sunday during the Sunday scramble. And I don't know why, I'm fixing the tee off, that's why I have my glove on, I don't put with the glove. Um, but is it is a P two uh, P two tour? Too many p p p in there. <laughs> it's a reflex tour. But normally they sell this over in the UK. But they have them all available on Amazon. And I got this, and I wanted to try it out. Uh, there's a girl. She's a professional uh, professional golfer. Just got her tour card. She's 16 years old. Uh, Kiara Noya. And I've fought, been following her since she was 11. And she uses this brand. So I thought I'd give it a try and see if it stabilized my hands through the putter stroke. I have a really bad habit of drifting off to the outside for some reason. And I've tried different 
uh, grips before. In fact, the Cleveland comes with an oversized uh, grip, a pretty nice one on these on these uh, on the uh, mallet. This is the Huntington 10C in the center shaft. That's what the C stands for. Ten and a half is what it is. And um, anyway, so I, I took that grip off that came on it and I put this on there. And I'm not looking back because it stabilizes my hands. I really love this. They make different uh, models of this. This is a biggest, probably the biggest one that they have, and it just it just works for me. So that's what I that's what this vlog is about. I just want to do a review of this and just uh, putt with it, and hopefully I do well the rest of the holes. So far, so good. Over here, the the road goes across, so I got to watch for traffic here, but. I know it's probably not an ideal place to test that grip out on as rough as these greens are in this golf course is. <laughs> but that's why it's called cringe golf. Oh, anyway. Okay, so for normally a uh, street would be out of bounds and on most, most golf courses, this one that runs through it isn't. Now the ones that go around the golf course are. So anyway, I would get free relief from this one as long as it's no closer to the green. But luckily it bounced, I think it hit the curb and it bounced back across here, so I lucked out. So right, let me hit this one. Ah. Left to short. Okay, I won't. I won't say that I that I missed that I haven't missed anyone's that short, but I think I have. I think there's a few videos with me make missing them, but anyway, that that uh, putter grip really makes my hand stable, and I'm not afraid of those little ones anymore, or I shouldn't be. Anyway, next hole, another up and down there. All right, so here's the second short par three. It's a little bit down the down the hill, so wind's going across ways, so I'll have to be creative with this one. Get some bad bounces. I hit an eight iron there. It usually played like nine or pitching wedge. With the crosswinds, I thought I would need a little bit more club, but that that sailed on me. So, but it hit something right here in front of the green, bounced to the left. So, I have to try to get up and down again. Man, that little, the little 58 that I've been using, that Lazarus, has really helped me. Of course, I've been on, lucky enough to be playing out of the grass. Well, weeds. <laughs> but uh, it won't matter what kind of grip I have if I keep leaving them that short. All right, really windy now. So, legs picked up more. So, I had to skip two holes because we got the quarter scramble going on. And hopefully, you can hear me. And hope I'm glad this is probably my last hole because it is picked up considerably so I don't even I don't know what I'm gonna hit here but this is the dog leg right number seven hole and so we'll, we'll just try our best see if we can get a, up and down for another part
right with those winds gusting up if you could hear it I just wanted to stay try to stay low didn't put nothing wild out there and uh, did exactly what I wanted to do just didn't go real far but it work Let's see if we can what we can do with it all right I got about 150 to the pin the wind blowing really to the right so I'm gonna get my seven iron try to get it up there turn the camera around the greens are right there behind those big trees right there anyway Alright, so hit a bad shot there, but we're going to try to make the best of it. Wind blowing really hard to the right, so I really didn't adjust that much. I was hoping to just lay up in front, the pins in front. But that took it. It took it. Hit the green, and it bounced way right. So, <laughs> hopefully I can get up and down again. Alright, so I've got a bad lie here in the tree right here that I don't think it comes into play, though. Not terrible. This is like the worst green out here. So there's my ball right there, probably about 12, 15 feet. I don't know, 12 feet. Long foot. <laughs> All right, that was uh, I can't believe I just pulled this off. So, five holes, five up and downs. That putt, I didn't wouldn't for sure. I had the line right. I knew it and went broke left. So, so far, well, so far, I'm not gonna say so far. I really love this grip, and um, I'm glad I got it. So it feels really good in the hands. So, review, five stars. I love how it sits. It's got the shaft that goes to the back instead. I think it puts my eye line over the ball a lot better that way. And so anyway and i'll put a link to uh yara's uh, social um she's check her out she's a really good golfer really up and coming i can't wait to see her, her career balloon get, you know, go even further so i've been a fan since uh, she was about 11 she followed me on instagram i followed her back and glad i did or somebody her dad parents somebody did anyway uh but that's all i got for now thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it uh uh, please like and subscribe if you will. I never asked for that, like I said before. That's all I got for now. See you later. Bye.